For the second season in a row, the hockey team has won the Challenge Cup, marking the 16th win in the program's 53-year history and their first time repeating in 24 years. Last Friday at Centene, the Spartans played Marquette, a team who tied them in all three of their matchups. However, when it mattered the most, the team was up for the challenge. We came out right from the start, set the tone, did the pace we wanted to do. Revolta was the MVP of the playoffs, probably of the MVP of our season. Whenever you can see at the end there, we have five on three, he makes three or four big saves, right? Jackson Fox, MVP of the game, unbelievable. Yeah, he scores the first goal, but then he also blocks a shot there with a minute left. Unbelievable. That's why he's the number one center on our team. Sophomore Jackson Vox opened the scoring for the Spartans at the seven minute mark in the first period as he drained a one-timer after receiving a pass from Dylan Groupie. The goal paid dividends as they continued to capitalize on that momentum as junior Patrick Dowling finished off a beautiful cross-ice pass from junior Noah Stutzer to add to the Spartan lead. After that, it was all eyes on the defense and senior goalie Alex Revolta to secure the win. And they did just that despite a six on three in the last minute of the game to keep the sold out crowd glued to their seats. The goal concluded Revolta's senior season with six shutouts, a feat that his predecessor, Brady Govero, wasn't able to accomplish after four seasons as a starter. I learned, I learned a lot of leadership from him. Last year I was more of a quiet guy in the locker room, but this year I was a lot more of a leader. The game was fully secured after killing off one of the penalties and with senior Theo Porter sealing the deal with an empty netter with three seconds to spare. The game was especially meaningful for the five seniors as they played in their last game with the Yellow Buckets. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do this without uh, all the seniors, and uh, we've been working our asses off all year, and uh, we deserve it. Talking with Jack Krogan before the game about everything that's happened the past four years, sophomore year being, I thought, upset, how close we came, and. I remember eighth grade year, an incoming freshman at Enterprise watching us lose, and I felt that, and I kind of carried that into my high school career, and it's amazing to win twice with these guys. And I mean, we showed the whole city that we were supposed to be here, and we are supposed to win. Senior Captain Jack Krogan knows that the game couldn't have been scripted any better for his team that he's led this season. You know, we pushed through all the hard times and the adversity that we battled through, and you know, we saw ourselves here, and we took advantage of the opportunity. And there's nothing more that I want in life than to win my senior year. Last game ever, you know, succeed, do it, everything that I dreamed about. While it was the last hurrah for the seniors, this was the first time since 1982 that a championship team has gone back to back with two different coaches. Former head coach Casey Ott led the team last year, only to resign after the season. Current head coach Anthony Capaletti took over the role, having never won a Challenge Cup. Now, he permanently has his name inked in DeSmet hockey history. This is an unbelievable feeling, better than I thought it was going to feel. But coming into this game right now with the team we had, I don't want to say what we, I knew we were going to win, but I was very confident we were going to win. With Just with the, like I talked to you earlier today about the depth we had on our team and just the mentality our team had.